Hello, Gunners. Welcome to the Arsenal News Channel. Arsenal have been stung by a groin injury to Thomas Party, and suddenly their summer transfer business looks as though it could be subjected to criticism. The Ghanaian FA announced on Saturday that their midfielder had suffered an injury in training at London Colney and would therefore miss the upcoming international break. A statement read, He sustained a groin injury during training on Thursday, August 31, 2023. He is currently unavailable as club doctors predict he's likely to be out for a couple of weeks. Interestingly, Party has been filling in as a makeshift right back in Arsenal's opening three matches of the season, but that is now set to change against Manchester United on Sunday. That might be celebrated by Arsenal supporters who have been crying out for the return of Gabriel Magalhaes at centre-back alongside William Saliba, meaning Ben White can shift back to right-back. Nonetheless, the news that Party has picked up a problem will have raised alarm bells, particularly as Kai Havertz continues to struggle with his period of adaptation in North London. But now, unless Mikel Arteta is prepared to call upon Jorgen Ho regularly, Havertz might have to step up now in his role as an advanced numbered eight. Declan Rice has been playing as a single pivot with Havertz and Martin Odegaard slightly ahead behind the front three. Yet in truth, they have not looked effective at all, and the trio have struggled to click into top gear, although it remains early days. However, with Party now out of action, Arsenal are starting to look very light on the ground in the middle of the park. It begs the question whether Arsenal have made a mistake not strengthening with the signing of a second central midfielder after letting Granite Xhaka depart. The Gunners were fortunate last season that both Xhaka and Party were available for the crux of the campaign, but this time around, they might not be so lucky. Ghana's statement suggests Party will only be absent for a few weeks, but there have already been suggestions he could be injured for several months. Arsenal's move to sign David Raya was certainly bold, and now fans may suggest the club would have been better off investing that cash on another midfielder. Do you think Arsenal made a mistake by not signing a second central midfielder after letting Granite Shaka go, especially considering Thomas Partey's injury? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you are not subscribed yet, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and leave your like on the video. That way you'll always be up to date on everything that happens at the biggest club in Europe. Thanks for the company and we'll be back soon with more news from the Arsenal. See you soon.